Hello everyone, welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox, Incredible Space Program 1.8.1. I have improved the Venture Star a little bit and made a new non-crude variant. Uh, you can see all the variants now will have a sort of metallic tile texture instead of the flat black uh, tile texture. Since the tiles on the Venture Star were metallic, uh, they were inconal and other things a special blend that was very heat tolerant obviously and so I've made it look a little bit more like that though it's still you know uh, the bump map and the general look of it is still like the shuttle tiles but it's just shiny and metallic and everything I've also made it a little bit thicker uh, though not so much that it would mess up like the RCS placement because I don't want to redo that but uh, yeah it's a little bit thicker and uh, that's just this variant though there is still if you type the Venture Star in to the search field, or you could just type venture, that'll be enough. Or actually, if we don't type star, it might be better, because a lot of star stuff will pop up if you do. Uh, so there's this screwless one, which is this one, and then the original one, which is thinner, but it'll still have the metallic tile. You can see the little icon there is very shiny at the bottom. Uh, so it'll be thinner, it'll have the apparent crew, ca uh, crew cabin up here with the windows, and it will actually have crew capacity built in. Uh, otherwise, the stats for both are the same. I didn't bother to make this one uh, lighter or anything like that, or that one heavier. So, I haven't done any of that. So, uh, visual changes, and we are again going to test uh, re-entry, and we will see how it goes. I have made a KOS script for launch, which will hopefully handle a little bit better. We'll see. So, here we go. Out here, the tiles are looking very metallic, which is good. That's all you wanted. Very shiny. In space, it'll be darker. All right. So, KOS. And we'll just go ahead and run. I can make it bulkier, but for now, we'll let it be. I haven't locked the control surfaces. KOS will use them very mildly. Both control systems still twitch a lot on re-entry though, the Smart ASS and KOS, so I don't know. It's because of the control surfaces, but we sort of need them during re-entry anyway. Another problem is the RCS placement. Uh, it wasn't entirely clear where they wanted to put the RCS, so I just imagined where it would be most likely to be, but that does require, like, the the, the RCS over here that pushes down is placed here. It could be placed here instead and not be as on as much of an angle, but uh, and maybe I'll consider positioning it different, but yeah. But the shuttle of course has those little RCS extensions to the OMS pods that extend them so that they avoid the wing and everything. Uh, but this, I don't know where that stuff is on this, so. After all, it wasn't quite completed. Some designs also have like additional flaps out here, and some don't. I think maybe the X-33 did have those. One of our problems so far has just been not having enough RCS propellant for re-entry. And it's using too much, but that's down to the control system being fine-tuned. Okay, we have reached orbit. We have 305 meters per second left. And let's just activate the RCS. Oh, let's just go through everything. I've action group stuff this time. Engines off. Okay, the RCS is on, as well as the engines on the body, which are now hydrolocks. They get less ISP, so it's only 284 with them. We are in orbit 212 by 165. We'll just go ahead and dump the cargo right now. In theory, except for the final bit of landing, it's possible to just automate the entire thing with KOS. In other words, the ejection of the cargo all the way up to re-entry. Just, I don't know how to program a landing. Now we have 331 or 332, something like that. Okay. So, we'll get to a higher standby orbit now. Okay, a little bit lopsided, but one and a half hours anyway. So, I'll wait a day. I'll just use Smart ASS to control it this time, since KOS still seems very wiggly. 
I think I might have changed the angle. Yeah, I changed the angle of the wings as well. So I've made them a little bit more angled than last time. Who knows if that's good or not, but sometimes that helps with stability. By nature, they attach at a zero degree angle, and I just tweak them up to, I guess it's a 30 degree angle. I also lightened up the texture of the white portion, the insulated top. Okay, we are at 100 kilometers and using some nose down. And that means that the center mass is still a little bit too far back. As propellant depletes, it's just going to go further back though. And that is because the body is basically a flying fuel tank and we've got engines in the back that pulls the center of mass back. Well, Smart ASS as a solution is still wiggly though. I don't know if uh, reducing the max stopping time will help. Okay, we are currently over Mexico and at 74 kilometers in altitude. We might fall short of, well, the blue line sort of ends up right about there. So maybe we're falling short, we'll see. Depends on whether we get some more lift out of this. Okay, we are approaching the Gulf of Mexico and we have some flame effects and once again it's interesting how those get applied to the aerospike in particular. They're still using about half of our pitch. Okay, halfway across the Gulf of Mexico, we are below 60 kilometers, getting maxed out on pitch here. And I tried to nose it down more and that just ruined it. So trying to go to 37 degrees pitch and that goes out of whack. Okay, so I don't know if the center mass, if I change the center mass in the craft file, in the configuration file, not, not the craft file, in the configuration file, I don't know whether I can just reload the save or not and that'll move it properly it's possible at least we add the fuel I don't know if it can I don't think it can catch itself here so anyway I'll try that and we'll see whether that moves it out let, let me load the well we won't get a center of mass and center of lift reading but if we take a look at the quick save we'll get a center of mass reading and then we'll be able to compare it after I move it in the configuration file. The location of it is somewhat dependent on what the relative mass of the hydrogen dry hydrogen tank is versus the dry oxygen tanks up front. So right now it's there, which is I just will need a reference. If we take a look at the black tile area or the metallic tile area of the wing, it's right there. Gotta try and move it to the leading edge where that meets the, the body. All right, so I'm gonna restart and we'll see if it works. Okay, I think it's a little bit further ahead but not quite as much as I wanted, but we'll try it out. And I think, uh, I tried to move the body's center of mass by a meter, but I forgot, of course, the engines are weighing us in the back there, so trying to move it forward by a meter is less than a meter because of the additional masses that are all around. So, yes, we are going to try again. One of the quirks of this, of course, is that uh, even though we have all moving wings in this case, I don't think it really did. Uh, I think they only had control surfaces in the back, but I've made them all moving wings partly because uh, they are really close to the center of mass, and so they don't have that much leverage to control pitch. So it's better that they be all moving. And perhaps we need those additional little thingamajigs in the tail or, you know, canards. <laughs> Canards, canards could help, because the canards would be very, very far forward from the center of mass and have a lot of leverage. So anyway, we are going to uh, deorbit soon. 
Let's go to uh, standard deorbit point. We weren't doing too badly last time as far as our trajectory was concerned. All right, let's go into the atmosphere again. Okay, rolling over just in time for atmospheric interface. And there we are. Well, I think there's some improvement in the pitch situation, but clearly it needs to be moved more. Okay, we are once again over central Mexico and 70 kilometers in altitude. And this is our situation. Not quite half on the pitch, but clearly I need to move the center of mass more than I have. Oh, we can adjust the center of lift, though. That's largely managed by fair mirror space, so it's easier to move the center of mass than mess with the center of lift. And here we go with flame effects. Still a long way to go, though. Okay, well, I mean, looking good so far. As far as ending up where we want to go, 60 kilometers altitude, still using just point four of our pitch, I'm thinking of it in normalized terms. Uh, so, yeah, so 40% of our pitch. Keeping in mind that I increased the pitch of the, the control deflection on the wings, so they're at 31% now, or 31 degrees. <laughs> 31 degrees now. Uh, we might go too far, though. I mean, Florida's coming up really fast. I don't dare touch it. <laughs> I was thinking of pitching up a little bit more to get more drag, but you know what? If we if we can at least splash down over on the other side, we can adjust the rest. If we can survive re-entry properly for once, we'll be in good shape. The next big thing is pitching down in order to maintain control, and that's not easy to figure out when to do. So I will link this version in the video description, but if you like the just black tile version and perhaps dustier upper bit, uh, you might want to keep the older version instead of getting this one. The version with the cockpit still exists in this one. The only difference is that uh, the textures will be different. You can see we're uh, getting a lot... The reason why we need to pitch down is because it's going to use too much pitch authority. Oh no. It, uh, it just... It decides to stall and flip out. Well... I had so such hope, but that did not work, right? I swear we need canards. <laughs> uh, I want canards, darn it. I think maybe the all-movingness of the control surfaces might be overdoing it. I think it doesn't like that that much, maybe. I mean, the planes I design work right. <laughs> Don't know why they had to be like this. Okay, uh, uh, can we get it over there? Yeah, this thing is not good at the whole recovery thing. But yeah, but then again, I did make those all moving. That was just because that was easier. But maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe next time instead of using these custom ones that I made, I'll try some procedural wings to see how that works. And we'll have procedural control surfaces which will be easier to manipulate. Uh, it's in flat spin mode. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, okay, so the all-movingness is too much, but maybe we can reduce that. Maybe they just don't need that much. I really want a canard. I can't pull up right now. I did reduce the all-movingness, and now they don't have enough pitch authority to pull up. <laughs> so we've we've escaped the stall, but we can't pull up. All right, um, procedural, procedural wings, maybe, instead. All right, so behold procedural wings, we have a fixed portion of the wing and then a control surface. I don't know whether that's a good idea or not, but we're going to try it out. I'm 
thinking that the fact that I had the entire wing move was probably throwing things off when we tried to pitch down. It just couldn't handle that. So this might help out a lot more. And I've adjusted things a little bit, but now we've changed the way the center of lift is basically because yeah, right now I assume that the center of lift is in the same place as before because these wings are shaped the same as the wings I had before and it's FAR controlling both of them. So it's basically the same numbers. In fact, uh, FAR has the same mass when you add up the mass of the wing and the control surface as the other wings have. So yeah, well, we'll see. So we at least we don't seem to be pressed for RCS on the way down now. So that's good. And we will try this again. All right, well, the launch remains under the control of KOS, so I don't expect anything too different there. So I'll run Venture Star. I didn't change the vertical stabilizers. Those are still custom and still fully moving. But y'all wasn't really where we were having any problems, so... Okay, we reached orbit with 310 meters per second left, and we'll go through normal procedures. I'm bringing it down a little bit lower this time, just basically a zero periapsis since we seem to be overshooting. I doubt that's enough, but we'll just try it out. Uh, we seem to be using a lot more pitch control. I think the fact that these are not all moving wings has somewhat hurt that. Oh, so maybe the distance between the center mass and center lift has in fact changed in a way I did not expect. Well, we'll see what happens. We're at 75 kilometers, just getting over Baja, California here. And it's still wiggly. The fact that these are procedural wings does not help the wiggliness. Okay, we are approaching Florida at higher speeds. I mean, it sort of makes sense. The all-moving wings certainly uh, created much more drag because they were tilting, right? Uh, so we got less drag with these, not to mention less pitch authority. And so we are coming in faster and we will definitely overshoot. But the critical thing is whether we can pitch down properly this time or not. So we will see. Or whether the pitch is going to get maxed out and we will go out of control. That would be a problem. Well, let's try and pitch down while... Well, no, it's probably dangerous to try and pitch down now, but we're going to the limits of our pitch authority, so it's a little bit iffy, but we're still at Mach 17, so we have definitely passed Florida way behind there. For now, we are maxed out but holding. But we are not holding at 40 degrees anymore. High potential for flipping out here. I mean, I don't think it's going to respond at all if I tell it to go to 30 either. Okay. We have lost control again. But let's see about the recovery options, if you will whether we can recover it from this situation and whether I can pull up or not. Well, it's much more resolute about flat spinning. Okay, okay, uh, don't go too far. Okay. Gain speed. Don't, don't wander, don't wander. Oh, it's wandering. Well, I can't say that I see the improvement in this situation. In fact, this just seems palpably worse right now. Uh, right. So, yeah, I think maybe canards, maybe canards would be better, but that's not part of the original design, that's for sure. So, yeah, anyway. I'll link what I've got right now in the video description. You can decide whether you want to use the procedural wings or not. And we'll keep working on it. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.